Okay, so we're going to have a quick look at how to uh, complete a stem and leaf uh, diagram question. First of all, the big thing with stem and leaf that you really need to keep in mind, if this comes up on the exam, you need to know what the stem part of the diagram looks like and what the leaf part of the diagram looks like. So basically, um, a stem and leaf diagram is used to split data up into units and then tens or hundreds of thousands depending on, on what we're dealing with, okay? So in this particular example, we're gonna make sure that the leaf only has our units in it and our stem is going to have our tens. So looking at all those numbers, we've got 20s, we've got teens, we've got 30s. So our stem is going to have the numbers one, two, and three within it. Now, this can be done in slightly different ways, but the way that I like to teach it is that you fill in the numbers as they come up in the list and then we will do an ordered stem and leaf diagram once we've filled it in this way. So 25. Basically I need to go to the stem where I have 20 available so that's the 2 and I'm going to put the number 5 in its place. The next one 28. So again I go to the stem where 2 is available and my leaf is going to have 8. 25 again 5 goes there, 13, this time I need to go to the stem where 1 is available and write down the unit which is 3, 33, I'm going to go to 3, 15 up here, 17, 22, 13, 34, 17, 25 and 21. Now just keep it in mind as well that you're trying to keep all of those numbers in, you know, quite neat uh, columns as you're going across as well so that they're one under another. So just be aware of that. Now I'm going to go and actually put that into an ordered stem and leaf diagram. I would highly recommend doing it this way to make sure you don't leave any out. So I'm just going to look at my first row now and put them in order. So that's going to be three, three, five, seven, and seven. My next row is going to be one, two, five, 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 and the number eight. And my final one is going to be three and four. Really big important check that I need to do at this point is count up all the leaves. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Go back up to your original list and make sure there is thirty numbers there. The next thing which is so important to make sure you get full marks in this question is I need a key. The key basically explains what the numbers in your stem and leaf diagram represent. You can pick any numbers on your stem and leaf diagram and just tell me what it means. So I'm going to go with the one and three and what does that actually mean? That represents 13. We can sometimes be asked to then find averages about this stem and leaf diagram. So let's say, for example, you're then asked to find the mode. That's the most common number in that set of numbers. So the answer, as you can see from our stem and leaf, there's those fives are after coming up three times. So therefore, the answer is 25, not just five massive massive mistake that students make okay the next one we might be asked to find is the um range so to find the range all you need to do is look at the largest number in your list so that's down here at 34 and then subtract the smallest number which is 13 so therefore our range is going to be 21 we might then be asked to work out the median. There is a couple of ways to work out the median, but I'm just going to do the kind of most straightforward way for today's video. And basically, you go to your um, stem and leaf diagram, and you're just going to cross out the smallest number, the biggest number, all the way into the middle. So I'm going to start doing that now. So therefore, I'm left with not just two, but 22 as my median. Obviously, if you do find that difficult doing it on the stem and leaf diagram, you could look at ordering them um, within the numbers on your list, or there is a couple of other ways which we will look at again. 
Okay, so here's another question uh, based on stem and leaf diagrams. Have a go at answering this question yourself um, and then you can uh, pause the video, play it then later on and have a look at how you got on. Make sure you're having a really good think about how to calculate the mode and as well how to make sure you get full marks in this question in regards to a key, etc. So this is the unordered stem and leaf that I've just completed. Next step is to put that into an order. So now I have my ordered stem and leaf and to make sure I get full marks in this question, the thing that people always leave out is your key. I can pick any number in the stem and leaf diagram. I'm gonna go with the first one and I'm gonna say that that means seven. So again, zero, seven, you're showing that there is no tens in that particular um, part of the stem and leaf diagram. Now we're gonna go and answer those questions first thing I need to find is the mode, that's the most common number, so I can see that the fives in that row have come up twice, but again the mode is not just five, it's fifteen. I can't tell you how many times I've seen that, seen that in exam questions where students just write down the number five, so make sure you attach it to the stem. And the next question then is to find the median, so as we looked at in the other video, I'm going to start at the outside and work my way in. So from there we can see that my uh, median is also going to be 15 and not 5.